Today we're gonna talk about more Blender add-ons that come with additional value in the form of 3D assets, including 3D models, materials, shaders, or any additional thing you would spend money on to buy separately from an online marketplace with hundreds of dollars or even thousands. In addition to being a great terrain creation tool, True Terrain comes with many useful assets that you can get with the add-on. This includes up to 165 PBR materials, material mixing based on geometry, dust creation, snow creation, more than 100 rock assets, more than 65 tree assets, add grass particle systems, water creation, up to 4 different water types, auto terrain material mapping, terrain generation, full asset scattering, and much more. Simply Cloth is probably one of the hottest add-ons for Blender right now, and the most useful cloth creation. This is the case because it comes with amazing and incredibly useful features for all different purposes, but for the purposes of this topic today, we should mention that it has awesome presets that include different cloth making materials. We can mention for example, cloth, denim, leather, rubber, silk, wool, elastic cloth, cloth with pressure, paper, and so on. There is also a library of more than 100 ready-to-use clothes for men and women, like underwear, bras, shorts, skirts, swimsuits, different kind of dresses and shirts, in addition to accessories such as masks, caps, belts, and so on. The asset packs were designed for Blender Asset Browser, and the overall value of the add-on and the library is absolutely more than worth it, and I highly recommend you check it out. Decal Machine is one of the top add-ons for Blender when it comes to hard surface modeling using decals, trim sheets, and trim decals. Besides that, it comes with a library that contains very beautiful and well-designed decals that can help you work on a variety of different hard surface modeling projects. Decal Machine add-on comes with 109 decals, 64 trim decals, one trim sheet, and two atlases ready to use. You can even create emissive decals that look fantastic, especially for sci-fi stuff. In addition, you can create your own if you want to. This is the case if what you are looking for does not exist within the library. Traffic is an expanded library of vehicles that is mostly comprised of cars for now. These vehicles are realistic and of high quality. What you will get with the add-on is traffic-related assets for architectural visualization, environment design, rendering streets, and other scenes. The most recent update, the Air and Sea update, has added more than 10 vehicles to the assets library, including airplanes, boats, a hot air balloon, and a helicopter, as well as new and very useful features that allow you to add dirt, scratches in addition to bumps to assets. And finally, they added official support for Blender 3. Like other add-ons on this list, Traffic comes with tools and features that allow you to populate scenes faster and with much more efficiency, not mentioning that it has assets that can be worth thousands of dollars. Materialic is yet another library, but this one is a collection of materials that are designed from the ground up to take care of time-consuming tasks usually involved with creating and manipulating materials, allowing you to focus on other important aspects of your scene other than materials. The materials are sorted by numbers and letters, so each one has a unique ID. There are 12 categories, 201 materials, 328 textures with a maximum resolution of 4K and a size of 11 GB. In addition, there are also 30 high dynamic range images included with a 4K resolution. There is also the Grasswold add-on, which is a form of high-quality asset pack. To clarify, they contain different species of weed, grass, moss, as well as various kinds of debris. These can certainly be used to add a touch of realism and imperfection to exterior visualization scenes. With the Grasswold library, creating professional natural environments is very accessible with more than 1,200 individual high-quality models. These models can be used for creating large-scale environments or for close-up shots for commercial or VFX projects. The same developers created the Island Rida Forest, which is a large-scale 3D asset library of almost 4,000 high-quality detailed plan models with realistic PBR materials and 8 levels of detail for each model. Grasswall's team scanned up to 22 species within a surface of 10,000 meters squared, and they did this in the Island Rida Forest in Germany. They are now offering four versions, one free version for no commercial use, and three other pro versions for individuals, studios, and companies. City Builder 3D is a good way to easily navigate and use different city assets based on the type of city you are working on. 
because it has multiple options. For example, industrial, which comes with 15 industrial assets like different types of factories, industrial buildings, in addition to power lines, towers, and other assets as well. The Metropolitan Kit includes 15 buildings that can be used to create clean model city scenes. They range from small buildings that can help you create neighborhoods to very long buildings that can be great for very modern cities, especially if you want to create aerial cinematic shots or even if you want to use them in the background. The Soviet Asset Kit contains a variety of different buildings from small regular buildings to medium and large ones. This one kit in particular can be useful for different projects and the quality of the assets is really great. The Hong Kong kit also comes with 15 assets of very detailed 3D buildings based on Hong Kong City's architecture. We also have the Derelict Future kit, unlike the other ones, has 15 building assets. As the name suggests, the kit is good to create old and abandoned cities, or even small towns if you want to use small buildings. The large buildings can be used to create futuristic cities that are old, because the effect of time is clear when looking closely at the textures of the buildings. The Cyberpunk Clean Future Kit is fantastic too. It includes buildings that don't resemble buildings that we have in our time, and I found the small buildings in particular to be great. However, the medium-sized and large ones also give a futuristic and sci-fi vibe if you want to create scenes of that nature. Lastly, we have the Medieval Kit, which also includes 15 medieval assets that can be very helpful to create scenes from the Middle Ages or something like that. This Blender Asset Pack is a big library of natural assets that cover everything you need to create natural scenes. It contains many and different assets from trees, weeds, flowers, grass, shrubs, pots, etc. It is not only a Blender Asset add-on that contains a library of natural assets, but it definitely adds many amazing unique assets and a good level of quality if you are trying to create anything of that nature. The number of assets you will get depends on the version you will have, because there are three versions. Light, Pro, and Ultimate. Overall, the quality is great and it covers a wide range of natural environments, whether it be vegetation you can find in a desert, underwater, in the mountains, etc. If you are interested in one of these add ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I also wanted to let you guys know that the Blender Market is having right now its annual spring sale. So if you want to get items at a lower price, this is your chance to do so. If you don't know where to start, you can check the description of this video down below where I chose and organized for you the best add-ons and courses. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.